Maskwira say mre Zimbabwe, welcome to our channel Zim Confessions and Deep Secrets. Kana kariki kutanka kukwea parino channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Kana wachungwa garo ka subscribe, but don't forget to comment and share this video. Nasi, mre Zimbabwe tagwi granya ya buris kwa na the former foreign affairs minister wa Wouta, Mozambia, wa Buda, wa shichora wa chiti, any dialogue, e, e, chait kwa kutipasu huku ma challenges muna Zimbabwe, inu fani la ku include the military, e, wa Buda, Mashara ya chiti, a dialogue without the army will not yield anything. The Magabuda Pek sendi yao, Mashara ya chiti, the truth shall set the people free. A Zimbabwe National Dialogue Initiative that does not include the army is an absolute waste of time. We still we still have a remnant of the November 2017 command element that should help in this much sought after his reset, otherwise in a few more years. It shall be impossible to engage the same army whose command element would have changed completely and subordinated the dynastic politics. Let's reset all prosperous and inclusive future Zimbabwe, future Zimbabwe for all now. Tomorrow may be too late. We can do it. Buzwakabuda. Bachi Taura. Shakari, a renowned political analyst, Dr. Pedi Saiwani. Buzwakabudo. The military industrial complex is the decisive power block in both party and state succession politics in Zimbabwe. Susan Mutami, Agabudo, Ashtora Ie, Achiti, I once tried to tell everyone that they needed to engage the military and I was called a mad woman by people who believe in elections. Tisangazia, Kuti, Muna yona seinya Ie, Kutar kwa trukwita, Pane ma... Talk Sarunzi, Ari Andaway, Zurunzi, Padakuitwa, a dialogue between the Citizens Coalition for Change, which is Nezano PF, the Funga, the Horsemen, Nubia Kabuda, which they are going to engage President Emerson Munangawa on the way forward, Yenika, as well as Jamisa, a Kabuda, which are evil, which they are Kun, Sakadaro, or Zimbabwe. Sangazo Nona Senior, Buditswa, a Kunzi, a dialogue should involve. Ma the military should involve the army kuti iwanikwe ichita successful mure Zimbabwe. So pani ngaya yaka buditskwa na a UK based lawyer and a political analyst wa Brighton Tebuka maka buda achita wa rewa chiti for Zimbabwe to move forward everybody should accept kuti mkwara 2017 they made a mistake na kubiso kwa waka either the late former president wa Robert Mugabe wa rewa chiti Ma all veterans, they should realize that they made a mistake, including the army. Mfana kuzia kuti they made a mistake mwere Zimbabwe. And once people realize that the country can move forward, Abuda Wachiti, in order to regain the initiatives, in order to regain the initiative and extricate Zimbabwe from the brink of catastrophe, where it is now, all Zimbabweans must collectively accept that they made a mistake in November 2017, including Wovets, Chiwenga, MID, the opposition, Zano PF, etc. Then the dangerous work of dismantling Zenism must begin in earnest. If it was collective effort, if it was collective effort to thrust him there, so it should be to bring him down extremely, extremely dangerous. Yes. We do not exist on this planet to indulge another man's fully and hold the whole nation to ransom. I don't write recklessly. I merely seek to recognize the, fit, the fatality and magnitude of the crisis in Zimbabwe. Uh, there is no point in even beginning to contemplate these useless mindsets Mindset shift in Zano PF uh, and all captured state institutions first. I refuse to accept that you are all blind or oblivious to what's happening. The same way I write this is the same way that some of you took to the plunge and left Zim to challenge Smith's regime. Such a beautiful country we have. What was the point of dethroning Bob? You tell me. But it didn't country should unite, says Rayaka Itapa with a bomb and the doors of Arfana Kuita, 
e, pa ku be surprised ne mason mangago e, kwa true kuita e, zanu pf is aiming for extension ye term ya president Emerson Mnangagwa tunzi ni dialogue ndo kuitwa ni the citizens coalition for change na wosh me move eh kuti wawanikwe but extend the term ya president Emerson Mnangagwa tuna zoti unaona usinya i uh, kuti pane any dialogue ndo consider fruitful ile chaitwa ni zano pf ni the opposition party mu Zimbabwe we zvikana pachitwa dialogue is it worth it kuti the military iwanikwe it facilitated at this dialogue to the Ramuru Funga from Surupanya in comment section. Much, and this is happening 40 years after independence, which independence at the center of the of it was the issue of the freedoms of the people of Zimbabwe, and it is a stark reminder that 40 years, 42 years after independence. We still do not have the so-called rights that we fought for. But I want to say that in addition to the security from the Almighty, the bishop and the and, and the people that are going to march are also protected and secured by Section 59 of the Zimbabwe uh, Constitution, which makes it permissible for Zimbabwean citizens to express themselves in peaceful and non-violent uh, manner on issues where they have a challenge or they are, ne they are not happy about. So we must proceed in terms of carrying out peaceful and non-violent actions under the auspices of Section 59 of the Constitution. I have to say this because it appears that uh, it's in Zimbabwe, peaceful protests have been outlawed. And that is not the case. Zimbabweans still have an absolute right to protest, to picket, to petition, as provided for by Section 59 of the Constitution and indeed various other relevant uh, provisions. And I want to also pick up on the spiritual war which the bishop uh, ably articulated. I think it's very important that our struggle is centered on a living God. And uh, everything happens at the appointed time according to God's will. We are now going into the physical actions as described by the doctor. And as the citizens movement, we endorse any process, any process that is peaceful, lawful, and non-violent that seeks to put pressure on the Mnangagwa regime to address the concerns, not just of the citizens, but as the diaspora as well as of the region and the international community, which were communicated through the their various reports after the disputed elections. In light of that, we have come up with a campaign which is called Zimbabwe Arise Campaign. Many of you may have seen uh, something circulating which says no to GNU, no to 2030, no to 2010, no to SADAG in chairmanship, no to illegitimacy, no to corruption, no to dynasty, no to police brutality, no to unjust taxes, and no to partisan food distribution.